Airplanes are made up of hundreds, even thousands of parts, from the simplest pieces of wood and fabric to newly designed composite airframes to the most sophisticated of electrical components. Planes come in all shapes and sizes, but they all share the same basic design components. The basic components of any airplane are the fuselage, the wings, the empennage, the landing gear, and the power plant. The fuselage houses the cabin and cockpit to hold the pilots, passengers, and cargo. The fuselage is considered to be the central component of the airplane, since all the other components are attached to it. Most airplanes manufactured today use something called semi-monocoque construction. This means that underneath the skin of the airplane, there are a series of bulkheads and other supports that help hold the airplane together. As we'll be discussing in Lesson 3, Aerodynamics, the wings of an aircraft generate lift as air flows around them. The wings are shaped to maximize the amount of lift they produce. The wings can be attached at the top, midway, or at the bottom of the fuselage. Most planes have a single set of wings, referred to as a monoplane, but some planes have two or three sets of wings, referred to as biplanes and triplanes, respectively. The empennage, derived from a French word having to do with feathering an arrow, is commonly referred to as the tail section of the aircraft. It consists of two important surfaces, the horizontal and vertical stabilizers. These stabilizers are surfaces on the tail that help keep the airplane under control while flying through the air. Beneath the fuselage sits the landing gear, also known as the undercarriage. This structure is used to support the aircraft while on the ground. There are generally two different types of configurations, tricycle and conventional gear. Tricycle gear is so named because its wheel configuration resembles that of a child's tricycle. That is, it has one lead wheel near the plane's nose and two main wheels behind it, typically under the wings. Today, this is the more popular of the two types because it allows for easier landings and improved visibility while moving on the ground, also known as taxiing. Conventional gear, on the other hand, is the older style that was popular a few decades ago. Similar to before, two main wheels are typically situated under the wings, but the third wheel is located under the airplane's tail. This results in the tail of the plane being very close to the ground, while the front of the airplane sits much higher. This obstructs the pilot's forward view because of the airplane's nose-high attitude. However, it does allow for larger engines and propellers to be installed on the aircraft. This setup is also the less stable of the two, making landings more difficult, especially in a crosswind. Finally, there is the power plant, which in layman's terms is the engine. Airplanes can have one engine, called a single-engine airplane, or have multiple engines, called multi-engine airplanes. In most smaller general aviation aircraft, reciprocating engines are used like the ones found in cars. In many ways, however, airplane engines are simpler than car engines. The most basic of reciprocating engines on airplanes are not computer-controlled, are not liquid-cooled, and are not even fuel-injected. If you're unfamiliar with those concepts, don't worry. We'll cover the basics of those topics coming up. With reciprocating engines also comes the requirement of a propeller. Just as there are different engine configurations, there are also different types of propellers. These propellers can range from the simplest two-bladed propeller made of a solid piece of wood to a complicated, multi-bladed propeller with additional built-in features. These features can include the ability to shed off ice or even to change the blade angle during flight. The rotating of the blades is similar in purpose to a car's transmission. So, there you have it. Those are the major components that make up an airplane. The rest of this lesson will be going over in greater detail how many of the airplane systems work.